Outside we go right now this Monday evening. Beautiful shot of downtown Indianapolis once again on a very, very fall-like afternoon. Yeah, rainy. We need the rain, though. Yeah, Maybe we, we should start there. Ashley uh, joins us now with, with more on that. It, it felt nice just to see some wet weather finally. Absolutely. Much needed rain, but it absolutely was not enough. Nowhere near what we need to break this deficit that we have. Actually, when you look around, I mean, not even receiving a quarter of an inch of rain for most locations here. You can see those uh, very low rainfall totals that came in for us today. And unfortunately, uh, we're going to start drying things out uh, tonight and into the day tomorrow. I'm not sure that we'll see um, much of the way of any more rain before we end the month, making September the driest uh, September on record. So 2020, once again, in the record books for us, as we look at the rainfall here, you can see that uh, in the green, the heavier rainfall really was sitting off to our west. So uh, areas off to our west before it moved into our area. So that's why we didn't get much right now. Some areas still getting in on a little drizzle uh, to some spotty sprinkles there. As we zoom in north of Interstate 70 from South Bend over into Warsaw to uh, Kokomo there, uh, not much in the way of rain, right? You're dry now. Those showers have moved off from areas off to our east. Uh, some spotty sprinkles to spotty shower sitting in areas uh, around Greencastle into Brazil, Indiana. Those body sprinkles slowly moving out as well. Uh, winds. Winds right now at 5 to 15 miles per hour. These winds have become breezy at times today. It's been breezy and it's been cooler as we kind of get a view here of what we expect moving forward. We're going to keep that breezy and cool air mass in place. Just a little sunshine. And that's enough sunshine that we had just a little bit ago. It's going to help us to, uh, of course, warm things up a bit. You know, we were officially kind of strong struggling in the 50 degree um, for Indianapolis throughout the day. We've been in the 50s. South Bend, you're still at 58 with a little cloud cover. Uh, Kokomo at 61. Bloomington at 66. Indy now officially at 64. And Evansville warmer to the south at about 68 degrees. Now from the 60s to the 50s tonight. Now cloud cover stays with us at times, but breaking apart in the overnight hours. Tomorrow we'll bring you some sunshine there. We'll start your day with sunny skies. Now as we kind of look here moving forward at Futurecast, our forecasting model, you'll notice that overnight clearing out. Yes, tomorrow morning we'll start your day with a little sunshine. Sunshine to start, but that will change by afternoon as a few clouds will thicken in. So a mix of sun and clouds for your Tuesday. We're at 64 degrees for Indy tomorrow. About 62 for South Bend, 67 in Evansville. So tomorrow in the mid-60s, but a little more sunshine, drier air in place. Chat Mahidi and cooling eight-day forecast. It looks like Wednesday is the best choice for pick of the week at 68, mostly sunny. As we we head into the weekend, we cool things down, and as far as rain chances, we're going to bring in the chance of rain this weekend, Saturday into Sunday. Rain chances remain low, but of course, we'll add some much-needed rain to the rainfall totals.